Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review The Lost World Jurassic Park. So, The Lost World Jurassic Park stars Jeff Goldblum, Julianne Moore, and Vince Vaughn. And it's about, you know, that uh, John Hammond is starting to lose his company. So, what he does is he sends Jeff Goldblum's character to this lost world. And Jeff Goldblum is like, no, 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 I'm not going there. Until he finds out that his girlfriend is there, and now he must go to this lost world. So what did I think of the Lost World Jurassic Park? It was pretty good. I mean, it's not terrible like everyone likes to put it out to be, but it's not terrible. And it's also not great, but it's still good. I still, like, enjoyed the movie. Yeah, so... Let's first talk about the positives of this movie. The positives are, Jeff Goldblum still does a good job. Not as awesome ha as he was in Jurassic Park. I mean, he was a boss in Jurassic Park in the first one. Here he's kind of, you know, not, not like he, how he was in the first movie. But he was still good in the movie. Still really enjoyed him. And his mullet was gone. No! Okay. And, uh, Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore was good. I enjoyed her in the movie. Um, Vince Vaughn was good as well. Um, uh, um, the special effects, the special effects look good in the movie. I mean, they, I mean, they still look good, but not how, like, like the first movie special effects look, but they still looked good. And... You know, the action, when the action was needed, the action was good. And there are a lot of, like, intense scenes, like some nail-biting scenes in the movie. And I like that. You know, just like the first Jurassic Park, it had some nail-biting, um, intense moments. And so does this one. This one has some nail-biting, intense moments, like, <laughs> What's gonna happen, you know? Yeah, so those are the positives I'm giving this movie. The negatives. There are some negatives. Jeff Goldblum's daughter in the movie. Like, his his adopted daughter. I, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Every time she was on screen, she was so annoying. My goodness. You know, at times in the first movie, the, the girl would get annoying at some parts. But at least she wasn't annoying throughout the entire movie. And here, this, this kid is in Annoying in the entire movie. I felt like just wanting to be like. Wanted to pull my hair out because she was so annoying. The uh, the the other group that they were with on on this on this um, lost world. I, I didn't find them interesting at all. It, it was just. I didn't even find those guys interesting at all, these other people that they were with on the island. I w it just wasn't interesting to them. Didn't really, just really wasn't interesting to those characters, so yeah. Overall, Jurassic, The Lost World Jurassic Park is a good movie, but it, but it, it fails in comparison to the first movie because of how the first movie was so amazing. And this one is just... It's good, but it's not like how the first movie was. It wasn't like such an amazing movie that takes you on a journey. I mean, but, yeah, sure, sure this one takes you on a journey too, but not like how the first one was. So, I mean, I wasn't disappointed with this one. At some parts I was disappointed, but overall, still a good movie. I still enjoyed The Lost World Jurassic Park. So it's time to give my official grade on the Lost World Jurassic Park. And my official grade on the Lost World Jurassic Park is a B+. This movie is a good movie. I enjoyed it. And, you know, all, all even though it has some of its flaws, it's still an enjoyable movie. I still enjoyed it. So it's getting a B+. So what did you guys think of the Lost World Jurassic Park? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we will see you all later. Peace.